Good morning. Today we're going to do a video on fork oil on a 2005 Sportster. This is the XL1200, but the forks are all the same throughout these Sportsters. We're going to switch the fluid out and I'm going to put 15 weight in. Right now stock is usually 10. This is an 05 bike, so the oil is relatively old. With, with that, we're going to remove the cap on the top of the fork tube, and then remove the drain plug from the bottom. Now, with an inch and three eighths open end, I'm going to the top tube cap. Get your hand. That is Now, be careful, this is spring-loaded. What I'm gonna do is put a jack, just get the pressure off the front end. Right onto the frame. Now the wheel roll. As you see, I have a towel, and let's be careful, this will pop. And there it goes. Now that wasn't too bad. I want to remove the spring make it easier for us when we put this thing back together. I'm gonna to grab a paper towel and a plastic bag. What I wanna do, move it up slowly. Remember the way it goes in, the springs will get tighter, tighter to the bottom. Let the oil drain. It makes a difference. Tighter to the bottom. Now I got this in the plastic bag and I put the tighter end down so I know that's the side that goes back in. What I'm going to do now is turn the wheel. Take the bungee cord. Now, as you see, I put the bungee cord on the mirror to my rear foot peg. Now, for the purpose of doing a video, I turn the wheel back. You'll notice this is a little drain plug right there. It's a Phillips head. It's a standard number two. I'm going to use it on a ratchet. Squarely get it on there. Now I have the wheel tilted. This has already been loosened. We're gonna let this all drain out. Try to catch this. that drain for a little while. I took the bike off that little jack. I pushed down on this front fork. Not much more came out. Not much more. I'm going to let it drain. I'm going to fill it, cap it, and then go to the other side. I'm going to let this drain a little while while I get my fluid together. We will be using Fork oil lubrication 
15 weight. I've used it before, good stuff. Okay, the book called for 10 and a half ounces. You could buy any of these at Walmart. They're paint containers, 32 ounce paint containers. Cost about a dollar. It's a two quart container. And uh, right here is 10 ounces. And that's what I filled it. 10 ounces. Fifteen weight fork oil. I put a little Permatex thread sealer on it. And remember, it was not on there that tight, so I'm going to install this now. There we go. Remember, it was not that tight. I'm going to put my funnel. I'm going to pour my 10 ounces of 15 weight fork oil. Ten ounces is what came out, so I'm putting 10 ounces back in. The book called for 10 and a half. I decided let's go with the 10. That's what came out probably with the residual that's sitting in there equal to ten and a half. All right, that's all in. It's fine thread, so, so you know, just bring it back slowly. Spot here, a little spot there. So when the spring is in and you compress this all, line up your two spots and you know that's the start of the thread. Put a spot with the nail polish right there to index it, and there's a spot right there. And what that does is that's right before the thread starts. When this has the spring in there and the pressure, it's hard. Now I'm gonna remove the cap. Remember you got that dot and that dot. Put this on the floor. Now I got this spring. Remember what we did, tight side down. And you see we gotta push. Okay, I see my spot. I'm gonna use a half inch, this is 36 millimeters, a half inch setup. And I'm going to be able to get a little more on this. Now, what I'm able to do, now as you see, I'm pushing down and turning. It's not easy, but it's not hard. Surely is the way. 36 millimeter. Half inch ball, line up your spots, push, turn. Check your torques back. All right, we're going to remove this top fork plug. Choosing to use the ratchet. With the ratchet, at least you can keep your hands on it. And it shouldn't be too bad. I kind of like the ratchet. 36 millimeter socket. I 
I like doing it this way so I can measure what came out. And if there's that big of a difference, you know that affects your ride. I'm going to let it drain for a little bit. Before I tried squeezing the fork down, it didn't make a difference. All it did was make a little more of a mess. As long as that caps off the top, the drain plug, there's no, no vacuum. The stuff is coming out. Let it drain for a few minutes. I'm gonna pull the spring out. Tight end of the spring down. Put it right in the bag and you don't have a mess. But let it drain, don't be in a rush. That's why I put the, pretty much 10, it asked for 10 and a half ounces. I put 10 back in. That's what comes in that, that's what it drained. It's probably a half ounce in the system somewhere. Here's my little drain plug. I'm going to clean it with the wire brush. Oh, that was too much, but we'll wipe it clean. Let's put this plug back in there. And as you're threading it in, that thread sealer pushes back. So it's not like it's going to go in there or cause any havoc. It's just, I don't like leaks. Okay. Line that up. There's a brass washer. Clean it up. As you see, Ten ounces, and that's what I will replace. All right, I got ten ounces, fifteen weight fork oil. I'm gonna put that in now. Fork is fully extended. Drain plug, nice with thread sealer. Let's put the spring back in. Nice, nice. Remember the fork's fully extended. Real pen spin. Check your talk specs. I snugged it down. We did a fork oil change in a 2005 XL 1200. 15 weight oil. I purchased it on eBay. Cost 15 to 20 dollars. 10 ounces on each side, and uh, we're finished. If you have any questions, just ask. If you could, thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. Thank you, and have a great day.